Welcome to Getting to Know Chronicle. I'm John Stoner, a member of the Adoption Engineering team here at Google Cloud, and today we're going to talk about YARL operators and modifiers. When it comes to YARL rule building, we need a way to build event criteria for our detections. Operators and modifiers provide some of the essential tools in our toolkit to make this happen. When working with repeated fields, we also have any and all which help us work with those fields as well. Let's start by taking a look at modifiers and operators in action. Our first example is going to be working with an unusual location link file rule. And or not can be used within the event section to build out search criteria. And is assumed in the absence of other operators. Here we can see that our rule has four different event type values and we are using parentheses and the or operator to logically group this portion of our criteria. The second part of our criteria is looking for strings within the target file full path field. Now, we aren't going to get into regular expressions just yet, so don't worry about that, but let's look at our modifiers and operators. The operators between the end of the parentheses and the other fields are all optional because they are outside of the parentheses. If they were inside the parentheses, you would need to have the AND operator or you would get a syntax error. Notice in the top corner of our rule, the green check switches to a red X sign if the syntax isn't correct. It's a handy tool for reference. Also notice the not prepended to the second file full path criteria. Basically, we're looking for link files in folders other than desktop, documents, and start menu. If we wanted to look in those specific places, we could just remove the not. No case is used by appending it to the end of a field and value and gives us a lot of flexibility when matching against command lines and other fields that contain user input. With no case, I don't need to worry if a folder, command, user, whatever is mixed case, uppercase, or lowercase. It just takes the guesswork out of it. However, it's important to note that for enumerated fields, like event type, no case will throw a syntax error. That's because all enumerated fields are always uppercase only. If you're wondering which fields are enumerated, the UDM field list covers this. It's a great reference to have handy. Our other rule is really simplistic, but it highlights how the any and all modifiers can work with repeated fields. Repeated fields handle items like multiple IP addresses associated with a system. Here we are looking for a user login from a system that has a specific set of IP addresses. Because IPs are repeated fields, specifying principal.ip equals X and principal.ip equals Y would fail because how could a field be two values at the same time? However, by prepending the word any to both pieces of IP address criteria, it allows us to look through all of the repeated values for that IP address and say basically if any of the IP addresses that match this first string and any of the IP addresses match the second string, we meet our criteria. The term all works nicely if you're saying all IP addresses do not equal a value. Generally, a good rule of thumb is to use the any and all terms whenever you're working with a repeated field. You will see more rules that build on these concepts, but for now, remember that and, or, and not are used to link different event criteria together with the help of parentheses. No case takes the guesswork out of fields that could have different values in mixed, upper, or lower case. Any and all help with repeated fields to give more flexibility to find the values we care about most. If you want to learn more about Chronicle, check out my blog series called New to Chronicle for more handy tips and engage the security community at googlecloudcommunity.com. Thanks.